Hey yo, today I'm going to show you how to use wave samples not longer than 4 seconds in your GB Studio 3.1 project. For that reason we're going to use GB Studio of course and also Order City to set up the samples. So first of all you got to download or create an audio sample of course and I'm going to record a test sample real quick. Test. Okay, fine. Then you uh, need to cut it and cut it carefully because you don't want to waste much space and also you don't want to uh, let the audio sample start delayed. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to export as wave and I will call it test unchanged. Okay, so this is our audio sample and um, this won't work very well, so we gotta get make some changes. Um, usually samples come in stereo, 44 or 48 kilohertz, and 16 to 32 bit PCM. Um, so we're going to um, first go to track, mix, and mix it down to mono, because the Game Boy can only ha handle mono samples. And um, uh, an optional step is um, uh, go to a low pass filter, use a low pass filter and uh, cut everything away. Uh, so every high frequencies um, below 5834 hertz. So we're going to do this. Uh, this is optional and then but you got to set your um, uh, the frequency to 8000 so you could do like set the project rate to 8000 before recording or you can like um, do this afterwards you go to tracks resample and then you can choose the sample rate and we sample uh, we choose 8000 okay so now we got it uh, set to 8000 mono and um, now we can export it again and export to WAVE and don't forget to change to 8-bit unsigned PCM. Okay, so now we have our sample prepared but I can already tell that this will be a bit too low in volume so we're going to um, amplify or normalize. I'm going to use amplify here and we're going to the peak amplitude of 0 dB. So it will be like the highest point before clipping. So I'm going to save this as well, export as wave and call it test um, 0. So we know what it is. Okay. And I can already tell that this is a bit too low in volume as well compared to music running on the Game Boy. So we will amplify it even further and um, <clears throat> usually it's a good good amount is something between 4 and 10 dB so we're going with 8 dB I would say and okay and we export this as well export to wave and call this test 8 okay so now we got our first few samples prepared and uh, they were all stored in um, the project folder assets and then a folder called sounds if it's not already there create it and store your wave samples in there <clears throat> so uh, we switch to GB Studio uh, we click on a scene and so we can make something like let's say input uh, attach script to button A and B and on press uh, music and sound effects play sound effect and then we should be able to select the wave sounds we just made. So I will first uh, take test unchanged and save and export to ROM. This will take a few seconds and then <clears throat> we're going to make the same with the other samples that we created so we can compare the quality. So this is the first one test unchanged then we take test this is the mono sample uh, export okay 
open it. Then um, the test uh, zero, so the normalized version. And there it is. And then the test eight, so the loudest one we created. <clears throat> okay, now we have these four and I will show you real quick. So this is the unchanged one. Wait, let me just drag them a little bit better accessible. So, okay, unchanged one. <clears throat> you hear it's kind of loud, it's okay, but it's uh, it has a lot of background noise and also like a high zzz sound. <clears throat> uh, this is the mono version. Less background noise, a lot of clicking, uh, and really low in volume. This should be a little bit louder in volume. But the clicking is not getting louder. And this is the plus 8 dB version. So you can, of course, make this even louder, <clears throat> like the first one, but it won't have all the background noise uh, distortion. Okay, <clears throat> we can do uh, more than this. So let's go back to Auto City. Uh, what we can as well do is uh, use um, a high pass filter. So this will cut off all base frequencies below whatever frequency we type. So usually it's a good idea to go something between 80 and 440 and choose the highest value here. <clears throat> so I will um, make a version with 80. So call it 80 test. And edit undo. I will undo it and then um, use the high pass filter again with 440 hertz. Okay. <clears throat> and export, we call it 440 test. Okay, so what it does, it cuts away all the base frequencies and the higher the value, the, le uh, the more base will be like taken off. <clears throat> so um, let's check these two. So this is the test 80, export. Okay, oh, okay. And um, let's do the same with the 440. So the 80 version will have much more bass and the 440 version will sound much thinner. <clears throat> and if you go for like vocal samples, this going thinner would be totally okay. But if you want to sample something like an explosion or a bass drum or something that needs the bass, then don't cut away too much. So let's just hear the 80 version test. and the 440 version. Test. 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 So this is much cleaner, test. Test. but it lacks the base, absolutely. So <clears throat> uh, usually this is a good idea to go somewhere between 180, 240, 440, something around there. And if you need the base, then go lower uh, and the lowest would be 80, I would recommend. So, okay. <clears throat> now let's see how to use this in uh, GB Studio and how to use this in music as well. So, um, I will add an event, um, play music, play music track. I made a little sample track just so we can um, compare um, the volume of the sound effect better uh, to the background music. So we have a better indicator. So let's export the ROM with uh, with the music. And every time I hit A or B button, the um, sound effect will play. So let's hear. Yeah, so it's hearable. It's fine. Uh, it could be a little bit louder, so you always have to like test around a bit, but that's that's totally okay. <clears throat> and um, 
uh, yeah, but you could also use this not as a sound effect. Uh, you could also use this as a sample that plays in your song without putting uh, pushing any buttons. So if you want to do this, you need to set up a routine. So you go into add event, uh, music and sound effects, set music routine. And um, you can make uh, four of them. So zero, one, two, or three. Let's stick to zero. And on call, so every time this is called, so this is used, it will do whatever you want. It will change animation speed. It will change the scene. Or in this case, it will play the sound effect that we made. So play sound effect. And then we select 440 test. And this will happen every time this is called. And we call this in a music, in a song. And how to do that, uh, I will show you. So go to the song. Um, and you can uh, uh, go to where the magic wand is and just click here. And then it will show you like uh, effect to choose from. And you can choose call routine and we set up routine zero. So we take routine zero and every time uh, it, the song plays at this uh, spot where we put the effect, it will trigger the sound effect, the wave sample. So in the tracker view, it would look like this. We would write six for call routine and then zero zero for routine zero or zero one for routine one and so on. So now we have it uh, stored here and, but we need, um, I will delete this, uh, but we can't hear this in the preview. So we uh, need to export the ROM again. And uh, then you will hear every time the loop starts over, uh, it will play the sound effect, the test. And now again, yeah, so it works perfectly, but you only have for your whole project four uh, of these routines. So without trickery, you could only use like four samples in the whole project or yeah, if you want to use anything else that is like synced to your music. Uh, so maybe not a good idea to use uh, too much of them, but yeah, it's possible. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any ideas how to improve it further, please uh, write it in the comments so I can read through it and also people watching this video. And yeah, see you soon. Bye.